Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from sound for more It's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to explain how the piano roll works inside Drumbo. Okay, before I start, I'd like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, let's um, initialize the project to a tracks MIDI to CV, so we have a brand new project. Then let's uh, add uh, a audio unit instrument and let's select the BS69. Okay, a nice piano. Okay, let's close that. Next, let's select the note like that F2 and let's create uh, um, a simple pattern with just repeated F2 notes. Nothing special, right? So let's expand the uh, clip launcher view. And there are two ways that you can get to the piano roll. The first one is to click here on the sequencer view on that um, icon and that will bring you to the piano roll view. And if you click on it, you will exit. Um, sorry, if you click on uh, the same icon, icon, you will exit, of course, that view. Or you can go on the clip and swipe to the left and you will go inside that piano roll view. Now here you have um, a number of options on the top right hand side. If you click these um, two vertical arrows, you will expand that view. Effectively it contracts the view below, which if you click and hold here, you can move it up and down and you can see that it changes the view, okay? And you, you can click on it again to reopen that view of the clip launcher. Okay, so here we have um, the full note, okay? It's only one bar, as you can see down here under the navigation bar. So if you click now, you create notes. If you click on the note again, on the note again, you replace that note. You notice that um, when there is nothing vertically on the same line, the note will play only once. And if there are two, it will play a chord. And I will show you how to stop that uh, in a moment. If you click and hold, you can change the duration of that note. Then if you click and hold at the beginning, If you click and hold at the end on the right hand side of the note, you can change the duration. Okay, perfect. So, of course, if you want to select more notes, you cannot do it like so. So you need to activate the lasso here or the selection tool. And then you click and hold and you can now select multiple notes like so. A menu appear here where you can copy, select all like so, right? And you can uh, clear, for example, and then you can uh, click on the Do button to go back to the previous uh, state. Again, select, uh, click on all this to select those notes. You can clear here, or you can copy, okay? And then you go somewhere else here, okay? And then you can do other things as you like, right? Like so, you click and hold, and you click on paste, and you will paste the note that you have uh, uh, copied previously. Something else as well that you can do, click and hold like so, and you can say repeat, and it will repeat the notes that you have selected as well. Again, you can clear, copy, select all, so very nice selection. Let's click undo to go back to the preview state. Now let's um, exit the selection tool, okay? So the next thing I want to show you is that you can use pinch gesture, so you up and down to change the zoom and also horizontally as well okay so and that is useful particularly when you have more than one bar and as you recall there is a nice shortcut to create a bar click and hold on the navigation bar as you move outside and then you, it will show you the number of bars that you can add so like two in this case there you go okay so very nice okay so up here you find additional selection so the first one is velocity so you click and hold on one note you move down and you change the velocity of that note Okay, and of course you move right up to have the maximum velocity. Okay, Cl click on the velocity again to exit that mode. You also have this small hamburger menu here, or icon, click on it and it will show you a number of options. The first one is quantize. So when you create a note, it is quantized to the grid. Even when I change the duration. 
Of course, if you remove quantization, you can happily move uh, left and right without being uh, constrained to the grid, including moving uh, the note. And of course, as soon as you activate it back, it will snap to the grid. Next here, you have a selection of preview notes. So the, the, the first one I want to show you is this one when it is not orange. So when you add the notes, it doesn't play. Nice and simple. Then the second one I want to show you is when you have one only note orange, it will play that note. But when you are under one note, it will still play only one note, like so. However, if you have two notes, two oranges note, it will play still a note, like here. But when it is under another note on vertically, it will play the chord. So all the notes together. And that is really handy. And that is the default selection. Next, if, um, if you quickly use your finger and touch somewhere, you can add a note. If then you quickly move left and right and up and down, you can scroll that view, right? And again, if you just point and uh, click, you add a note. If you click on this icon here, you disable that panning with a single finger. So again, if I use only one finger, I can add a note. And now if I, if I try to move quickly up and down, it doesn't allow me to pan anymore um, on that view. So it depends on your taste, really. Next, what I want to show you is if I maximize again the view below, like so, and I, if I go to the keyboard view instead of the pad views, um, if I press on some key, you see it highlights where the key that you pressed is on the piano roll. And if I go below a visible, uh, the visible piano roll, it will scroll up and down based on where you are. If you don't like that, click this icon here, and then that will uh, remove the ability to actually having that zoomed into that note that you played on the keyboard. So as you can see, I'm playing below, but the piano roll actually is not moving. And that, in essence, is the piano roll. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and see you at the next one. Thank you. Bye.